Amsterdam Travel Guide Anyone seeing Europe as a romantic and beautiful place will have Amsterdam close to heart. The petite city among the giants, its name conjures an image of greatness and elegance. It always attracts the attention of national and international organizations. Rather than scolding tourists for covetously eyeing the city, we find it imperative to contribute to their enjoyment of the city tour by presenting this Amsterdam travel guide. The Venice of the North, as the city is also known, Amsterdam is one of the small but great cities in the world. If you can now cruise the city as other tourists do, you will see the epitome of tolerance and diversity. Even though not a very big city, the rich culture will greet your sights all the more. Our Amsterdam travel guide highlights the city's quietness, occasioned by the extensive canals with road traffic and the entire city life. Why you should visit Amsterdam Given the fact that you may not find those prominent landmarks in Amsterdam, you may wonder why you should visit Amsterdam. You will find satisfying and convincing proofs for why you should visit Amsterdam. No Amsterdam travel guide can miss those wanders and cycling along beautiful canals. Alternatively, you can also drift around the city in hired boats. There are cafes where you can simply sit and observe the exhilarating traffic on rivers. Now, consider below reasons why you should visit Amsterdam while you are still young. The World Class Museums A plethora of museums and galleries in Amsterdam will tell you the rich history of Europe. Among the best European museums you would find in this city are the Rijksmuseum and Van Gogh Museum. These structures, which are the world's largest collection of arts, house over 200 paintings, 500 drawings, and scores of letters from Van Gogh. The Urban Village No apologies for referring to Amsterdam as an urban village. With about 740,000 locals inhabiting its central area, the city is small enough to afford visitors the opportunity to get a real feel of the people. While Amsterdam commands the same respect in Europe as London and Paris, it is not as sprawling as those cities. On just bike ride or public transportation, and even walking tour, visitors can see almost the entire city in just a few days. The floating city and the magical canals. Even those who have not been to the Dutch capital have heard about its canals from one source or another. Any Amsterdam travel guide that doesn't mention them is not worth your time. There are 165 canals meandering through the city with the collective lengths of over 60 miles and flowing under 1,281 bridges. They connect 90 islands. To avoid inciting Venice to jealousy, let's join in in calling Amsterdam the Venice of the North. The canal ring that was built far back in the 17th century in the then small fishing town of Amsterdam was in 2010 declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Cruising Amsterdam's canals is enough for a reason to visit the city. A private boat or traditional canal cruise is waiting for you to give you the magical moments in the city. You can have the same sensation while trekking through the winding, narrow riverside streets. The drinks. You don't need to be nostalgic. If you can't find your favorite beer in Amsterdam, you will have a perfect substitute or something far better. Of course, the home of Heineken is the world's largest exporter of beer. An interactive tour through the largest brewery will teach you a lot about the well-known lager at the Heineken Experience. The flowers. The Dutch are so much in love with flowers to the extent that the Netherlands have their national flower, namely tulips. Adoring flowers is another reason why you should visit Amsterdam. Quote this Amsterdam travel guide anywhere as recommending such. All over the city is plenty of them. At Kuchenhof, which is 30 minutes away from the city center, a flower show runs between March and May. Vondelpark Tulip Island fixes an annual tulip display for a day around July to September. A visit to Floating Flower at Blomenmarkt any time of the year will make a powerful case for flowers. Cycling Spree This is one of the few cities where bikes are a big deal. In fact, the most convenient way to explore the city of Amsterdam is to hire a bike, and there is no shortage of bike hire companies. Trust me, they are both available and affordable. Best time to visit Amsterdam What is it that determines the best time to visit Amsterdam? No Amsterdam travel guide can tell you that specifically. This is really no bad time to visit. Thus, when to visit will depend on the purpose of your visit. 
Another factor that determines the best time to visit Amsterdam for many may be the weather. If you're such a person, April to September, spanning through spring, summer and autumn, may be fine for you. However, weather is unpredictable in Amsterdam. It can rain any time, including those warmer months. If traveling on a tighter budget, our Amsterdam travel guide recommends October to March, which is off-season. Of course, December is a festive season in most European countries, including Amsterdam. But if you want to enjoy your summer holidays, they are from July to September in Amsterdam. Traveling to Amsterdam in Spring March to May is spring in Amsterdam. This period is marked with warmer weather and longer days. You will witness their tulip season around mid-March. During this period, precisely on April 27th, you can join a city-wide party celebrating the King's national birthday, which is the most famous national day. April is considered the driest month. Nevertheless, always have with you your umbrella to cope with the fickle weather. Visiting Amsterdam in summer. Summer runs through June and August. This is when you have crowds in Amsterdam. This is the peak season for tourists there. Be prepared to endure longer queues and pay more for accommodations. The weather also is warm during this time of the year, as attested to by most Amsterdam travel guides, peaking at 89 degrees Fahrenheit. But why is the rush to Amsterdam this period, when tourists know a fellow tourist might block their view? Well, consider the long summer days, open-air concerts and cultural festivals, and alfresco dining. The four-day Taste of Amsterdam event in June, the Holland Festival, which is the largest and oldest art festival, will give you the mix of music, dance, opera, and visual arts in the same month. The internationally renowned Amsterdam Roots Festival and the Open Garden Day are some of the reasons to visit Amsterdam in June. The 10-day Overhead Ish Festival, Comedy Train International Festival, Amsterdam Fashion Week and Amsterdam Gay Pride brings people there in July. The Canal Festival or Grashten Festival, Apple Sap Festival or Apple Sap and World Cinema Amsterdam are the reasons for the rush in August. However, be prepared to dress in shorts and t-shirts together with some summer clothing. A light jacket or sweater may also be needed. Amsterdam's Autumn Visit You can avoid crowds in Amsterdam if you visit during September and November, which is the autumn. The visit comes with cheaper hotel rooms, easier bookings, less crowded restaurants and shorter queues. However, you can't resist taking pics of the fiery colored trees filling the city parks and lining the interwoven canals. This Amsterdam travel guide puts it to those staying away from Amsterdam during this season that they are missing funds like Sinterklaas Parade, which marks the arrival of Saint Nicholas, the patron saint of children. They also miss the Netherlands' answer to Santa Claus to signal the beginning of the festive season. Traveling to Amsterdam during winter Tourists cringe on their shelves to escape the colder season of the year. Freezing temperatures and frequent fog and mist patches together with rain keep people indoors. So you pay less for hotel rooms and avoid crowds during December to February. However, local tourists troop out and dare that inclement weather to embrace Christmas and welcome the new year with corresponding festivities. Interesting things to do in Amsterdam. You wouldn't proceed on our vacation tour without a clear idea about what awaits you in your destination. There are a lot of interesting things to do in Amsterdam anytime you pay a visit. Armed with the information presented in this section of this Amsterdam travel guide, your visit can never be boring. Take a canal tour. We can never say too much about those canals. To see the city, take one of the tours using the help of a personal tour guide or with others on a big boat. The small open-air eco-tour boat provides you with a more intimate experience. Hang out in Vondelpark You have a lot of opportunities to hang out in Vondelpark, Amsterdam's largest and most popular park. You can walk, bike, sightsee or simply relax, especially after a fulfilling visit to a local coffee shop. The park is filled to capacity during summer, with visitors playing several sports. You can also join them hanging out at the Café Blau Thiwis. Explore the Jordan. Eating and drinking in the company of locals and other tourists at the Jordan is an interesting thing to do in Amsterdam during the summer. It used to be a busy work district, but now it's a hub of trendy cafes, shops, and restaurants. 
There is a popular weekend farmer's market there and sampling Dutch apple pie. Squeeze into the Houseboat Museum. If you want to have a feel of life on the canals, squeeze into the Houseboat Museum, which is not so much like its name. It's just a decorated houseboat that is a bit cramped. Relax in Rembrandt Park. Another park where you can relax is Rembrandt. This is not the same as the Rembrandt Plein in the city center. Another interesting thing to do in Amsterdam is to go to this park and see how much of the signs there you will understand, as they are written only in Dutch. Explore Oost. If you love to have a nice time in a place quieter than Vondel Park, it will be interesting to go explore the Oost Park in the area east of the city. This amazing park with a zoo and lots of nice Muslim eateries presents a cozy and less busy atmosphere that is being overlooked in Amsterdam travel guides. Here, you can wander around freely as you come across tourists who are probably lost. Experience the truly Heineken. Even though overpriced and excessively commercial, the Heineken experience is an insight into the brewing of the prestigious beer in the largest brewery. If you can have a great taste of the original Heineken in a few drinks, that will be an addition to playing some silly games. Drink at the House of Bowls. An Amsterdam travel guide might underrate this attraction run by the Bowles Distillery. It is a self-guided tour of the Dutch Gin Museum taking about an hour. You will go through an interesting smelling test and enjoy a cocktail on a small bill. Shop at the Waterloo Line Flea Market. Shopping at Waterloo Line Flea Market is an interesting thing to do in Amsterdam. This open-air market is a giant flea market where everyone can buy and sell everything. There are new, unused items alongside secondhand. Except on Sundays, you can reserve your shopping for this time. Read at the Amsterdam Library. Would you love to read in a broad daylight while having impressive views of the city at the same time? That's exactly what you'll get when you read at the beautiful modern Amsterdam Library built in the year 2007. How to travel Amsterdam on a strict budget. Moving around the city is not just an interesting fun, it's a necessity, and this comes with a considerable cost. If you're on a strict budget, here are some ways to travel Amsterdam. If you can buy an online train ticket, you can avoid complications and enjoy a discount. In addition, you can hop in quicker. There are Amsterdam airport shuttles departing every 10 minutes. This affords you the opportunity to spend less if you buy a return ticket rather than a one-way. If you want to drive, it is not recommended that tourists drive to travel in Amsterdam due to its narrow streets in the city center. Constructions often take place there and parking fees are not pocket friendly. If traveling on a strict budget, try to avoid this. But if you must, be mindful of bikers and pedestrians who are everywhere in the city and must be given the right of way. This also means that if you find yourself driving behind an unloading truck, you have to wait as you may not be able to pass them. It's exciting to find that there is the infrastructure for driving the electric car if you care. Of course, in all probability, you will have to rent a car. Rental services are there at Schiphol Airport in addition to others that you will find in the city center, such as along Overtoomstraat near Vondelpark. Major players in the transport sector where you can hire a car are Avis, Budget, Europe Car, Hertz, National, and Alamo, among others. Hiring a car and thus paying for parking in Amsterdam may be considered if you don't want to change transportation modes as you move around the Netherlands, perhaps due to the weight of your load. But Amsterdam taxis come to the rescue. At most tourist hubs, including Central Station, Dam Square and Leedseplein, taxis are available. However, it can be difficult to hail a taxi, especially at weekends. The way to get a prompt response, you have to call ahead. The Amsterdam City Taxi can be reached online 0031-0900-677-7777. But be prepared to pay about $3 per kilometer. Some would say their taxis are way too overpriced here. Yes, the city is small enough to be walked within days. And public transport goes everywhere. Many tourists use public transport throughout their stay in Amsterdam. Though the city is trekkable since major tourist centers are within or near the city center, 
Public transport can give you access to more attractions. Consider the Amsterdam City Card for fringe benefits in public transport. The main operator of public transport in the city is GVB, which provides integrated metro, tram and bus services. These move into the outlying suburbs during the day, but buses continue through the night after trams have closed for the day. There are also ferries conveying passengers on the Amstel River. The cheapest is cycling. Why do so many people claim that the only way to actually experience Amsterdam is by bike? One reason is the cost. Availability also plays a role. Amsterdam is enviously one of the most exhilarating cycling cities. Bikes are all too easy to rent. In fact, you can pay as low as $11 for using the bike all day long. You will truly experience Amsterdam's compact beauty. You may have to make a deposit that will be returned to you upon returning the bike. Couples can use a single bike to enjoy a more romantic feeling and cut down costs. Best places to visit in Amsterdam. Anytime you are able to fulfill your dream of traveling to Amsterdam or when next you are touring the city, don't fail to visit the following places. The museums. There are plenty of them to see in this city. This Amsterdam travel guide will show you only the most popular among them. Number one, Van Gogh Museum has hundreds of paintings by Van Gogh and contemporary painters opening daily by 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The museum documents the life, growth, and development of this great artist. Number two, the Netherlands National Museum, Rijks Museum, presents you with arts and history of the Dutch from the Middle Ages to date. Number three, the Anne Frank Museum shows you where the famous diarist found a refuge from the onslaught of Jews by the Hitler Nazi government during World War II. It is dedicated to the celebration of freedom from oppression while promoting cultural tolerance. It brings to life the history of her childhood, the attic life, and the Holocaust, including her handwritten diary. Number four, Amsterdam Tulip Museum fertilizes the desire of tourists who are in love with the history of tulips and those with the infamous tulip craze. You are not likely to find a crowd here. Number five, the National Maritime Museum, also known as the Maritime Museum, shows the relics of the sea voyages from the distant past. Number six, Stedelijk Museum is another international museum that showcases modern and contemporary art and designs. The Westertoren. This is one of the coolest historical sites in Amsterdam. It is great for photographers because it gives you the aerial view of the city as a whole. The stairs will give you the climbing exercise needed to burn calories and for your hard work optimally. Visit the city to climb the tallest and most beautiful tower in Amsterdam. If you don't book ahead for a guided tour, you may not be able to reach the zenith of the tower as tour guides take a few tourists there at once. You can then take as many photos of Amsterdam you want once you're up there. This place opens only in summers and you have to book your reservation in time. Artist Zoo when you're touring Amsterdam with kids, make sure you include Artist Zoo, one of the oldest in Europe, in your list. This small zoo gives a very good account of the land it occupies, as you can see all sorts of favorite animals, such as giraffes, lions, and elephants. It includes very unique displays of near-extinct and unusual animals. You can even find sections, such as the Micropia, where you will find microbes. It is a great place to be on a summer Saturday night. There, a barbecue is available for rent. Albert Kuip Market. This is such a cool, non-touristy place to visit in our dear city. You will get a chance to mingle with the real Dutch, buy some fresh food or sightsee the food stalls and pick up some souvenirs. This is a nice getaway place from crowds of tourists. You will feel the other side of the real city as locals go about their normal life. You do yourself a lot of good if you first watch the locals bargain and pay for what they buy. You need to learn that to avoid embarrassment and enjoy the process. NSDM Wharf. This former shipyard is a nice place to go for bar hopping. There you'll get to view the entire beach and the body of water. There's never a boring moment in this awesome wharf. From festivals to exhibitions and other events, something exciting always happens here. Amsterdam has given a very good account of itself as Europe's party town or city. However, this reputation is marred with unconfirmed reports of certain dangers associated with the city. 
Don't be surprised if you read embellished stories of crimes and criminal tendencies about Amsterdam. That is not a complete picture and it negates research findings of the city. Amsterdam has consistently ranked among the top 10 safest cities for years. The real tourists who go with their sixth sense don't have nasty experiences tourists have elsewhere. Yes, there can be pockets of pickpockets and pilferages, but you would hardly hear stories of violent crime in Amsterdam. What it requires of you is to stay safe at night and avoid the red light district where few incidences of drugs and bag snatches can occur. Armed with this Amsterdam travel guide, do enjoy your trip to Amsterdam, please. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.